So here are the stats after testing both setups using the best fast flag settings right now. One of these gave me smoother gameplay, way higher FPS, and crazy low ping after the patch. So stick around, because I'm breaking down the settings, the results, and which one you should actually use. Let's jump in. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for optimization of your ping while you playing Roblox, using a wired or wireless connection. Get this paid program for free from my description and enjoy your game with lower ping. Step 1. Clear temporary files to free up space. To begin, press the Windows key plus R simultaneously to open the Run window. In the box that appears, type temp and hit Enter. This will open a folder containing numerous junk files that are no longer needed by your system. Don't worry, these files are completely safe to delete. Press Ctrl plus A to select everything, then click Delete. Some files may not delete because they're still in use by Windows. Simply skip those files, this is completely normal. Next, press Windows plus R again, but this time type percent, temp percent, and hit Enter. Another folder will open with more temporary files from Roblox and other applications. Again, select all the files and delete them the same way. If any files are stubborn and refuse to delete, skip them as well. By removing these files, you'll not only free up storage, but also reduce background clutter, leading to smoother performance and better overall speed on your system. Step 2. Best Block Strap Settings After the new update to boost FPS in Roblox, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Let's move on to Optimizing Block Strap, one of the most popular Roblox launchers. Even with Roblox's recent updates, Block Strap still provides several powerful settings that can make Roblox run faster, smoother, and with fewer interruptions. By adjusting the settings correctly, you can ensure an optimal experience with reduced ping and smoother gameplay. Start by downloading and installing the Blockstrap launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. After installation, open Blockstrap and click on Configure Settings. You'll see several tabs and we'll go through each one to make sure everything is set up for maximum FPS and stability. In the Integrations tab, enable Activity Tracking in Discord. This option simply shows what game you are playing and has no impact on your FPS. However, disable Query Version Location as it checks for updates in the background, which can cause minor performance drops. Keep Don't Exit to Desktop App enabled. This ensures Roblox opens more quickly and with fewer delays, minimizing loading times and launcher lag. Next, in the Bootstrapper tab, turn Prompt on Conflicts when launching another Roblox instance on. This prevents crashes if multiple Roblox instances open unexpectedly. Turn Background Updates off to stop unnecessary CPU spikes during gameplay and keep Force Roblox reinstallation turned off unless you are reinstalling Roblox manually, as background updates can lead to unwanted lag. In the Mods tab, set Mouse Cursor to Default for smooth and responsive movement. Enable Use Old Avatar Editor Background to lower GPU usage when editing avatars in the menu. You may also turn off Emulate Old Character Sounds for a slight CPU performance boost. Now, go to the Engine Settings tab. Ensure Allow. Block Strap to Manage Fast Flags is on. This lets Block Strap optimize Roblox's internal performance settings, improving stability and performance. Set Anti-Aliasing Quality, MSAA, to Low to Increase FPS. Disable Preserve Rendering. Quality with Scaling to Reduce Lag, Set Rendering Mode to Automatic, and Select Texture Quality as Automatic or Low for Low-End Systems. After making all these adjustments, hit Save, and you'll notice that Roblox now runs more smoothly with less lag and better overall performance. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 3. Use Froststrap and FastFlax to boost Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now, let's explore the exciting new Froststrap launcher, which has quickly become one of the top Roblox launchers after the recent updates. Froststrap offers significant performance improvements, especially for mid-range and low-end PCs. 
It works similarly to Plexity, but provides better performance, especially after Roblox's update. Begin by downloading Froststrap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack or directly from its official website. Once installed, search for Froststrap in the Windows search bar and open it. Click Configure Settings to start customizing everything for optimal FPS and stability. In the Integrations tab, enable Activity Tracking, Query Server Location, Playtime Counter, and Game History Menu. These settings allow Froststrap to optimize memory usage, monitor ping, and keep gameplay smooth, especially during long sessions in Roblox. In the Bootstrapper tab, set file deletion schedule to after two months and enable cache cleanup, logs move, and enable Froststrap logs. These settings ensure that old Roblox files are cleaned out regularly, freeing up space and improving loading times. In the Mods tab, turn off Use Old Avatar Editor Background and emulate old character sounds. Keep the mouse cursor set to default and set Preferred Emoji Type to default, Twemoji. These changes help reduce unnecessary effects that could hinder FPS performance. Next, head to the Fast Flag settings. Set Anti-Aliasing Quality, RMAA, to 2x for smoother visuals without sacrificing FPS. Enable Pause. Weather, Gray Sky, Disable Grass and Low Poly Meshes, and set the rendering mode to Vulcan. These fast flag settings remove heavy graphical effects and significantly boost FPS, especially on lower-end PCs. In the Appearance tab, set App Theme to Dark and Window Backdrop to Mica for a more energy-efficient look. Keep Custom App Font as default and the language as English US, to reduce GPU usage and maintain stability. Lastly, in the Fast Flags editor, click on I Know What I'm Doing, then add a new Fast Flag configuration. Open your FPS Boost Pack, copy the Fast Flags text file, paste it into Froststrap, and hit OK to save everything. After testing both Blockstrap and Froststrap, you'll notice Froststrap offers much better performance, with FPS improvements from around 120 FPS to over 560 FPS. The gameplay will be smoother, with fewer stutters and better consistency, even after the Roblox patch. Step 4. Use Quick CPU to make your CPU run at full speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU is the core of your computer, and it controls how fast everything runs, including Roblox. By default, Windows tries to save power by slowing your CPU down. But when gaming, you need your CPU running at full speed to get the best performance. For this, we will use a tool called Quick CPU. Start by downloading and installing Quick CPU. Once it's installed, open the program. At the top, you'll find a dropdown called Power Plan. From the list, select Ultimate Performance, which is specifically designed for gaming and heavy tasks like Roblox. Next, scroll down and adjust the sliders to the following values. Core Parking, 100%. This ensures all CPU cores are active and running. Performance, 100%. This makes sure the CPU always runs at full strength. Frequency Scaling, 100%. Prevents the CPU from slowing down unexpectedly. Turbo Boost, 100% allows your CPU to run faster when needed for demanding tasks. After setting these, click Apply, then OK to save the changes. Now, go to the Advanced CPU Settings tab. Make sure Turbo Boost and EIST, Enhanced Intel Speed Step Technology, are turned on. Turbo Boost provides extra power for brief periods, while EIST makes the CPU management more efficient. Once you're done, close Quick CPU. Don't worry, these settings will keep running in the background, even after the program is closed. From now on, your CPU will run at full speed, ensuring smoother gameplay, fewer stutters, and more FPS while playing Roblox. Step 5. Clean Shader Cache and VRAM Cache. Press the Windows key, search for Disk Cleanup, and open it. Select your main drive, usually C, check the DirectX Shader Cache box, and click OK to confirm and start the cleanup process. Next, press Windows plus R and type percent local app data, backslash NVIDIA, backslash GL cache, then press Enter. Delete everything inside this folder to remove unnecessary files that might slow down your system. After that, open command prompt as an administrator and run ipconfig slash flush DNS to clear out DNS cache. Then go to percent local app data, percent temp, and delete all files there. Restart your PC and your system will rebuild the caches. With these changes, your system will be ready for smoother, faster gameplay with less stuttering and better performance in Roblox.